In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps that you need to take in order to complete the Symmetric Encryption Lab for the Future Money class. Now, before you go through this tutorial, you should look at the video that talks about symmetric encryption at a higher level so you kind of understand what are these different pieces that we're talking about as we do the very specifics associated with this lab, and also why are we doing it, what are the properties of the things that we're doing, how do these different algorithms and keys and text and ciphertext all work together. That's explained in the previous video. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to encrypt some text using a standard password key. We're going to put it in a forum so that someone else can see it, and then we're going to have them decrypt the text. So let's go ahead and step through the different processes here that we're going to need to uh, undertake in order to complete the lab. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have each person post a message that has been encrypted with a standard password. And that password or that cryptographic key that we're going to use is the phrase, here comes the future of money. After we encrypt our message, we're going to post it into the discussion forum. We're going to have someone else in the class come and decrypt your message and put it as a reply to your post in the, in the discussion forum. And then finally, you're going to confirm in that same thread that the second person got your original message correct. All right, so let's step through the different steps that we need to do in order to do that. First, let's go to the website um, that has our, decryption, our encryption and decryption tool in it. We're going to be going to one that is just online, put up by someone that I don't know, but is running the algorithm that we need, called www.toolsfornoobs.com slash online tools slash encrypt. Now remember, this is a website run by some third party, and while it does a good job of encrypting our data, we don't know much about the website operator, and so you would never want to do anything that was particularly sensitive in terms of encryption, because in the process of doing the encryption, the website operator might keep a copy of your message and then the pur purpose of the encryption would be defeated. But for the purposes of this class, this will be fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come and we're going to put our key in this spot here on the website. And the key, remember, is another word for password. It's a more specific word for password. And the key that we're going to use is here comes the future of money. Here is capitalized, the rest of the letters are lowercase. And then the message that you're going to encrypt goes in the next box, and that can be any message that you choose. And for me, I'm going to use a quote from Lord of the Rings, which is uh, that adventures aren't always pony rides in May sunshine. It's not exactly the right quote, but that's the way I remember it for now. We're going to encrypt that using an algorithm, and the algorithm that we're all going to agree on is to use the Blowfish algorithm in the Cypher blockchain mode. So that's the default there. When you encrypt something, what it does is it takes a set of zeros and ones, in this case zeros and ones that represent these letters in this message about May Sunshine, and it changes those zeros and ones into another set of zero and ones. But sometimes those zero and ones don't get um, displayed by a computer as letters. And so what we need to do is we need to give the computer instructions for how to take the zeros and ones, regardless of what they represent when we put them on the screen, and always make sure they show letters. So we're going to use a type of encoding for the output called hexadecimal. So then we're going to hit our encrypt this button. And down at the bottom, you can see that the result of encrypting that phrase with that key is those characters. We're going to cut and paste those characters, and we're going to go to our message board we're going to start a new thread with this encrypted message. I'm going to post a new message. And what I'm going to say in my new message is, I'll call it Professor Patterson's encrypted message. And I'm going to post the code there. And I'm going to post it as a message. Make sure it takes OK. Great. Now a second person is going to come along. Each person is responsible for, for both encrypting a message and decrypting a message in the symmetric encryption lab exercise. So now I'm going to go look for someone's message to decrypt. I'm going to pretend like I'm Professor Maurer coming up and say, oh, Professor Patterson has an encrypted message. I'm going to go ahead and view that. Interesting. I wonder what that could be. I'm going to cut and paste it. I'm going to go back to our encryption tool. And at the top of the encryption tool, there's a link to go to the decryption tool. I'm going to put the encrypted message into the block this time by pasting it. And I'm going to type in the shared key that we both know is, here comes the future of money. I'm going to make sure that I choose the right algorithm in the right mode, and make sure that the computer knows that these characters are encoded using hexadecimal. And when I decrypt this, 
I should see the message down below that adventures aren't always pony rides in May sunshine. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to the discussion forum and, and I'm gonna post a reply to the encrypted message. Remember, I'm acting like Professor Maurer now. I'm gonna say, hey, Professor Patterson, is this your message? And I'm gonna put the message below and I'm gonna post that message. Now, when I, acting like myself, see on the forum, because I've subscribed, uh, because I've asked for updates to my message by clicking enable there, when I get an email message or later in the week, I'm gonna come back and see, oh, someone has posted a response to my message. So I'm gonna go view the thread and confirm that the person who decrypted my message got it right. Ah, hey, Professor Patterson, is this your message? Adventures aren't always pony rides in May sunshine? That's it. So I'm gonna post a reply. I'm gonna say, that's, that, that's it. Great job. We post that message. Each person in this class is responsible for both encrypting a message and decrypting a message, and then closing the loop by telling the other person that they got it right if, if they were the ones that encrypted it. If for some reason you have trouble completing the exercise, work with each other in whichever thread that you're working with, whichever person you're working with, to try and debug the process and figure out why it didn't work for you. Most of the time people do okay. If there's ever a problem, it's usually because the cutting and pasting uh, didn't work out very well on someone's computer. Okay, that's it for the Symmetric Encryption Lab. Good luck.